we share theoretical and empirical reviews it is all about learning research facts and sharing with others please subscribe to our channel if you like our videos title of the paper magneto nanofluid flow due to bidirectional stretching surface in a porous medium authors of the report Details of the published report Before we present the theoretical review let us consider a preliminary introduction. The Lorentz force is the unique force on a charged particle due to electric and magnetic fields. There is a slight difference in the pattern at which the force is experienced when subjected to an electric field and magnetic field but the sum of these two effects creates a force known as the Lorentz force. To some experts, Lorentz force is simply the combination of the electric and magnetic force on a charged particle due to electromagnetic fields. A charged particle subjected to an electric field will always feel a force due to this field. But, a charged particle subjected to a magnetic field will only experience a force due to the magnetic field if the particle moves relative to this field. Next is to illustrate the direction of a moving charge and magnetic force. 1. A charge moving parallel to a magnetic field experiences zero magnetic force. To a charge moving at an angle of phi to a magnetic field experiences a magnetic force. Three a charge moving perpendicular to a magnetic field experiences a maximal magnetic force with magnitude. However, if the angle between the velocity of the charged particle and the magnetic field is perpendicular, the charge of the particle is Q the strength of the magnetic field is B, and the speed of the charged particle is V, then the Lorentz force can be estimated as Meanwhile, the Lorentz force on a charged particle due to an electric field can be estimated as This is true because a distribution of electric charge at rest creates an electric field E in the surrounding space. The total Lorentz force is from the expression above, it is worth noticing that increasing Lorentz force corresponds to the higher strength of the magnetic field more than the electric field because of the involved speed. The word magnetohydrodynamics is derived from the magneto meaning magnetic field, hydro meaning water, and dynamics meaning movement. Historically, Hans Albain, 1942 started the field of MHD and received the Nobel Prize in Physics for such a wonderful contribution to the body of knowledge in the year 1970. The major fundamental concept of magnetohydrodynamics is that magnetic fields can induce currents in a moving conductive fluid, which in turn polarizes the fluid and reciprocally changes the magnetic field itself. In the year 1832, Michael Faraday once observed at the end of a study on the ebbing salty water flowing past London's Waterloo Bridge that when there was an interaction between the ebbing salty water and the Earth's magnetic field and this produced a potential difference between the two river banks. But, such a current was very small in magnitude. Two such a phenomenon is called magnetoelectric induction. This concept has attracted many scholars to explore the concept of magnetohydrodynamics in various domains. Firstly, we shall explain the thermoelectric magnetohydrodynamics. Thermoelectric currents are generated by spatial variations in temperature and absolute thermoelectric power. Thermoelectric magnetohydrodynamics describes fluid flow induced by Lorentz forces formed through the interaction of thermoelectric currents in a magnetic field, Shercliffe, 1978. 
when solidifying alloy is subjected to an external magnetic field, the microstructural evolution is affected due to convective transport of solute by what is called thermoelectric magnetohydrodynamics, Li et al. 2009. In a study to determine the effects of thermoelectric magnetohydrodynamics in directional solidification under a transverse magnetic field by some scholars in the year 2017, it was concluded that the primary driver for such motion is the strong Lorentz force formed in the interdendritic region due to the interaction between thermoelectric currents and the externally applied transverse magnetic field. This leads to several significant changes, including macro segregation, dendrite size, and the spacing between dendrites. Secondly, we shall now explain magnetic fluids. These are the categories of fluids that are easily attracted to the poles of a magnet. For instance, ferrofluid is a good example of magnetic fluids because they are easily attracted to the poles of a magnet. Ferrofluids consist of a colloidal suspension of ferromagnetic particles that make it possible to become strongly polarized in the presence of a magnetic field. The contribution of Nguyen, 2012, on the subject matter reads, although magnetic forces are body forces the use of liquids with magnetic properties and an external actuating magnetic field promises to be a niche for inducing transversal transport and chaotic advection in micromixers. Hence ferrofluid is more preferable because the magnetic property of ferrofluid is credited to ferromagnetic nanoparticles, usually magnetite, hematite, or some other compounds containing iron 2 plus or 3 plus. These nanoparticles are solid, single domain magnetic particles that are thoroughly mixed with the base fluid. Thirdly, it had been ascertained that there would be an interaction between hydrodynamic force and electromagnetic force whenever an electrically conducting fluid flows subject to the magnetic field. Such interaction would lead to magnetohydrodynamic waves in the direction of the outer magnetic field carrying with them a velocity field and an induced magnetic field, Lundquist, 1949. In the year 2006, some scholars remarked that in most of the related cases, if the magnetic Reynolds number of the flow is large, then induced magnetic field and magnetic diffusivity would also be significant. We share Theoretical and empirical reviews It is all about learning research facts and sharing with others. Please, subscribe, subscribe to, to our channel, channel if you, you like our videos. videos. Next, we shall now present the theoretical review. The three-dimensional flow of a typical Newtonian fluid through a porous medium subject to Lorentz force of magnetic strength B0 was investigated by Ahmed et al. 2020. The variations in the flow's property with time, heat source, stretching in both horizontal directions, haphazard motion, and thermomigration of the tiny particles in the dynamics were assumed to be highly significant. More so there exists a time-dependent stratification of not only the temperature but also concentration along with both horizontal directions. We share Theoretical and empirical reviews It is all about learning research facts and sharing with others. Please, subscribe, subscribe to, to our, our channel, channel if you, you like, like our videos. videos. Next is to present the empirical review. The analysis of Ahmed et al. 2020 shows that with increasing magnetic strength, the Lorentz force is intensified and causes friction along both horizontal directions to decline. Also, the Nusselt number and Sherwood number diminish due to increasing Lorentz force. The rate of changes presented in the report as Table 3 and Table 4 was quantified using the technique of slope linear regression through the data points. It was discovered that due to increasing magnetic strength, the friction between the wall and the last layer of fluid in the motion along x direction decreases at the rate of minus 0.26262769 The friction between the wall and the last layer of fluid in the motion along y direction also decreases with magnetic strength at the rate of 0.144535. This can be associated with the fact that as the Lorentz force increases, the velocity is reduced and there would be little friction due to a decline in the rubbing of the last layer of fluid and the surface of the wall. 
the rate of decrease in the nestled number due to a growth in the Lorentz force was estimated as minus 0.0278025. In the transport phenomenon when the wall temperature is higher, and such motion decreases due to higher Lorentz force, heating of the fluid through the wall temperature should be expected to be enhanced. For instance, Kumar et al. 2020, shows that increasing magnetic strength parameter causes temperature distribution across water, ethylene glycol based ferro and hybrid ferro fluid past an elongated sheet to increase. The rate of decrease in the Sherwood number due to a growth in the Lorentz force was estimated as 0.0491325. When the velocity is minimal, there is sufficient time for the fluid's molecules to absorb the heat energy, thus capable to cause a decline in the rate of heat and mass transfer across the fluid due owing to higher Lorentz force. More so, the momentum diffusivity in the case of MHD fluid flow with a small velocity is a major factor as it is a numerator in Schmidt number and Prandtl number. We share theoretical and empirical reviews. It is all about learning research facts and sharing with others. Please, subscribe to our channel if you like our videos. Acknowledgements. Special thanks to all the editors and reviewers of special topics and reviews in Porous Media, an international journal, Beagle House Incorporated. We share Tur appreciates the contribution of the authors to the body of knowledge.